You want another big showdown? Well, let's go to McAlpine Stadium. Toughest ticket in the PD, Dillon and Marlboro County. The Bulldogs fired up for this one. Remember, last year, Dillon won 56-9. Different story tonight. Jaquan Cole, up the middle, a big game. And Dean Boyd would get the offense cranking. And we've seen a lot of this guy. This is Reggie Bright, up the gut, nice pickup. But then Dillon's defense would respond. Bright loses the handle right there. Malik Gregory falls on it. The Wildcats are in business. But Marlboro County's defense was relentless tonight. Thomas Grissetti is picked off. The first of five INTs for the Bulldogs. So Marlboro back to work. They go back to Reggie Bright. And Bright hard running to the 21 yard line. It would lead to this. Andrew Cook from 30 yards and put it on the board, it's good. Field goal for Marlboro County. Bulldogs have a three nothing advantage. Then, Grissetti going back to the air. Picked off the deflection, that's Jamal Stanton. Great receiver, he plays DB as well. Interception number two for the Marlboro County defense. This game would go back and forth. Dillon had some defensive prowess of their own. This one is picked off by Pete Ingram, but no, they rule him out of bounds. Take another look. That appears to be an interception for Dillon, but they rule him out of bounds. It's 3-0 at the half, so let's go to the second half now. No Jabo Lee. So Anthony Blue has emerged as a running threat for the Wildcats. A nice gain there. Then, Grissetti, swing pass to Tyreek Hayes. Hayes with good running after the catch. And it would lead to Anthony Blue finding the end zone and Dillon has a 7-3 lead. Late third quarter now. Grissetti looking for more, but the INT there by Fred David. Another pick for the Marlboro County defense. Let's move now to the fourth quarter. And Adams is gonna go to work. This is big time. Jamal Stanton's got it, and Jamal Stanton is gone. Touchdown Marlboro County, the Bulldogs jump back out in front. And then Marlboro trying to run out the clock, but Dillon's defense here going to make a big stop on fourth down. So now Dillon trying to get back in the game. Nice completion there by Grissetti. So Dillon is driving, but one more time, Marlboro County secondary would respond. Jaquan Cole with the INT. And the Bulldogs have their revenge. 16 to seven is your final. Cole with a 54 yard pick six. What a great ball game for both of these squads. Remember, Dillon is a class 2A school that's playing one of the bigger 3A schools in South Carolina. This was a great football game. And afterwards, our Ryan Knocken caught up with head coach Dean Boyd. We need to work on managing the clock a little bit better because we gave them the ball back and we can't do that. But I'm real proud of our football team. I'm going to enjoy this tonight. I hope they enjoy it. we got to get right back to work because we got hearts for next week. we got to play one of the toughest schedules in the state. And, and, and our kids to be 3-2 and two after this is, is, is a good step in the right direction.